call us to order at 7.31. Oh, what is it? No. Um, perception of guests. <laughs> he says without a trace of sarcasm. <laughs> um, agenda revisions, anything to add, change? I would like to make a new revision. Add a 3.2 Act 46. I don't think it has to be extensive. But. Okay. Any other agenda revisions? Public comments and correspondence? And we're done. Um, approve the minutes of 521.18. I would make a motion to approve the minutes of 521.18. I'll second that. Any discussion? Seeing none, hearing none, all of those in favor, please say aye. 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 <laughs> Opposed, abstain, no, thank you. Um, on to 3.1 board goals. So, we made so a I'll motion? make a motion, but before <laughs> I make the motion, I would just offer from my perspective some clarification that um, even though I'm going to make a motion to adopt these three goals as our own, um, I, I don't mean it to be exclusive of if we, I don't want lots of goals, but if we had a, a, an additional goal that was important to us, we could certainly decide to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not saying we need to be limited to these three, but um, my motion will be to adopt the supervisory union board goals as East Montpelier Elementary School District board goals. Is there a second? I'll second it. Thank you. Is there any discussion of the board goals? I had a question, Marsley. So should I, our, our calendar is very similar to this so that it was goal oriented right and mm -hmm. it's very similar to this goals anyways uh, should I change that language to reflect this in terms of building a work plan well I think community engagement was already in there yeah the three goals they're, are very, very similar. similar they're very yeah. similar it's just the is the, the wording is the wording is the, different the yeah I support changing the wording okay all right sure and I also, as part of the discussion, support what Stephen said. Yeah, me too. Because yeah, we're not, not limited exclusive. to these, yeah. but these are the main goals in um, concert. That's not the word I want, but um, with the SU more. Yeah. And then the only other comment I had was that we had, a, we didn't really talk about it at the full board meeting, but we had a lengthy discussion at the executive committee about that we would be at liberty, at least in goal two, uh, for the quality committee. And I wanted your input on being able to change, I'd be interested in what Alicia has to say and what the board has to say in changing the timeline of the, oops, it's here. Does so in goal two, well, well, the goal two has a suggested timeline, uh, yeah. and we they gave us the liberty to, to change it as needed, but I don't want to, you know, neither of us want to do that without, it was left to the quality committee to change it as needed, but we also, I don't want to make, make a recommendation without touching base with you. I would be very comfortable for our board giving the quality, school quality committee the same leeway that the executive committee did. Okay. Essentially what the executive committee did is we recognized that they were the content experts and they'd been working with it and if an adjustment in the timeline made sense to them because of the work they're doing we would accept that and that these timelines were just intended to be okay. guides. You know, guidelines were, what's the yes. pirates of the caribbean and the pirates code is more like okay. a guidelines than a law okay. <laughs> yeah we just wanted to move them a little bit so they align better with what we are doing so not wait until january to okay so we'll any further discussion of the board goals? 
All of those in favor of adopting the board goals as moved by Steve, please say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Thank you. Act 46. So I, I asked to put it on. I mean, um, the next time there's a meeting to discuss this, it'll be a full board. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't have a lot that I felt like I needed to say, but it made sense that perhaps we at least have a brief discussion of w what we've read and what anyone wants to say so that when we head into the full board, it's something at least we've touched on. Mm -hmm. I act, and since I made the motion, I guess I'll start the conversation. I, and I still think we should have the meeting, mm -hmm. um, but I agreed with a lot of what Susan had to say, that it, really this is a recommendation, and we're really not going to know anything until November. Mm -hmm. Right, um, when the report comes But I, I, as the way I was with Act 46 the whole time, I, I think what we should think about between now and June and where we should spend some of our time in June on is coming up with a timeline <coughs> so that, you know, this is when the Board of Education is going to be in the mm -hmm. June, considers it, and um, it's reasonable to assume that the Board of Education m might, like the AOE did, provide an opportunity for the SU to do another pitch or respond or whatever so that um, we would need to do things I think in June to say if the Board of Education wants a response who would provide that response what would be the makeup of that group it might be the same group but you know structurally mm -hmm. um, we would have in place a, a scheme and a timeline on who would respond what the response would be when the response would be if action was required where we might fit it in those kind of things and then even thinking okay and we're going to hear something one way or another in november so we should should we make some preparations to meet additionally once that's done because it's budget season it's reasonable consume mm -hmm. we might need another meeting to you know so for me that's the real purpose of the june meeting I know a lot of people will have opinions and, and voice, you know, pro and con and all that, but for me, the June meeting really should be about organizing so that we just have a plan to move forward. It doesn't say what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. And until the Board of Education has it, and, well, I mean, they have it, but it's now up to them to make a decision. They're not going to make a decision that by next month you have to have done blah, blah, blah. But one thing I'd like to avoid is any kind of coming out of the June meeting, a little group of people writing another response or big paper or anything prematurely. Um, we need to just sit back and see because I don't think, and this is just a little Pollyanna me, but I don't think they're going to meet and say, by July 1, 2019, you have to have all this in place because budgeting and all of that is such a big deal yeah, in schools that there, I believe well, there will be. That's not what they said. So they're gonna provide us with articles of agreement and we have to be operational by 2000, July 1st, 2019. So there's no... But there, the Board of Education no. hasn't acted on it yet. That's what the, the AOE the, said. Oh, no. Now it has to go to the Board of Education. But in well, November, if they say if, exactly, you'll merge, right. you'll be merged by July. Right. Of by 19th. July, that, that's not that's not changing because it's been written into law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that those deadlines okay. are we have no, we would have to go into lobbying at the legislature to change that, but not the Articles of Agreement because that's something they came up well, this board later was with in favor of consolidation. So yeah. But, but I do, I agree but with. there is a I, lot of devil in the details of those articles. Exactly. Oh, I was going, I think yeah. there's a ton. Yeah. yeah. And Donna had, had a meeting where she kind of explained some of the ones that they were recommending, and they, I, I haven't seen them. I don't know if you've seen them. I don't know that they are No, all but the point is they're out. not asking us to develop, so develop the, them and say the, these are what you're doing. That's sort of like mm -hmm. the part that we lost we, we by not we, we right. gave up that we chance. Did. We can we can add, yeah. but I, I agree with Stephen. I, and, 
with Lindy, what she was saying, I, I, I was in the June meeting as just planning and having you know the group go and present to the Board of Education. I think it would be a mistake to change our message to the Board oh, of I Education agree. because of what we receive right mm -hmm. now. We have to stand behind us united with what yeah. we put forward and do the best we can to convince them yeah. uh, of that that's the best course for our district. And then if they come back in November and they say, no, we can still be doing you know, work before. Is there before. an opportunity for going before them before November? There is, yeah, there is. There, there is a, the Board of Education is gonna be meeting, be meeting between June mm -hmm. and October, and it's gonna be similar to what we did with the Ed department today. But we, they haven't set aside like a meeting right, for all these groups like that they, they, they do or have They have, but I don't know the schedule. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they, they haven't invited specifically yet, but mm -hmm. I know that that's, what, that's their intent, because they be. don't wanna look like they're just Rubber, rubber stamping, stamping right. what it was sent right. to them. They, so they we would have that, that opportunity. And I, I, you know, I really think that it would be a mistake to change mm -hmm. because of what we hear right now. Now we yeah. move away. That would be Well, I agree, a despite well, the way we felt. That would be up for the public to do, not the boards to do. If the public came forward with some uprising, but I, they I wouldn't know. go to the board. They wouldn't. It no. would be more of a lobbying their legislators or something. I don't know. No, but I guess somebody it could go could to the, the board, but it, it, might, but I don't see it. But happening. the I don't, question I don't see is, what happening. would the public outcry be over? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, one of the things that that fettered our discussions was that we had to be within the law, mm -hmm. so there were very specific constraints right. around debt and stuff. Right. Um, so the state board has a lot more flexibility in um, building those articles of agreement than the Act 46 committee had, um, for better or worse. And they have quite a few that they said have to do that mm -hmm. yeah. from this process. Yeah, and I, you know, I... And they I, did call out in that community engagement is important whether that's just a way to duck responsibility for... Yeah, I think that was just like, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I won't say what I thought about that comment. <laughs> but yeah. So we would plan on uh, being a planning meeting on... on well, I mean, that's June. the direction I, I, I'll try to drive. I mean, certainly there are going to be people that want to get up and talk. And, you know, I, I don't expect Matthew's going to try to prevent that. Yeah. And you know, people will make impassioned pleas, and um, but anyway, um, from I, I don't expect to hear anything I haven't heard. Um, so for me, to, I think the value of that is you know a plan and a structure, because just like how mm -hmm. we were going to respond to the AOE, rather than each board doing their own individual work, I mean, I I think part what we could potentially agree on is a similar group to carry the same message to the Board of Education that here's what our here's what our request is it hasn't changed uh, the agency of education didn't support it but that's still mm -hmm. how we feel yeah and then in November if it's if it's supported, then it's just dead. We don't have to do anything. If it's not supported, then we should have some thoughts and some structure on. If it's not supported, then We'd on really this day in November or <laughs> this day in December, we'll have a full board meeting to discuss and respond or begin to talk about what's going to happen. I agree. Because yeah. potentially it could be a very ugly year. Yeah. I, I was, you know, I, I was not completely surprised. I, I was heartbroken just because I see how we are moving into mm -hmm. all these directions and we all are being so productive and we have all this, yeah. that this again would be another destruction of the, uh, that, of the that work that we're doing. And, uh, you know, it's just yeah, like, uh, you're, you're, I know, I know. you're a very positive person. I, know, like, I mean, I look at the policy committee stuff and I look at the goal stuff. One board doesn't think they can support these goals the three yeah, but, goals for their own and but I some, think some districts want to go their own way on yeah. policies yeah 
and mm-hmm. anyway yeah. yeah that's all i i just that's what i'll push for is a timeline and a plan i agree okay reports to the board Oh, it's huge. It's awesome. It's <laughs> just like, you're pretty, well, what's that lot of work? Last month <laughs> because I, we did the data I made so I notes like in my computer. But it was, it was just really exciting to see you know, the amount of meetings that you have had with teachers and the, it's just like, when? <laughs> Um, after April break until graduation, there is really not a minute in the day that's not mm-hmm. scheduled <laughs> and over scheduled and double scheduled. But it's a good time of year. Busy. So I, I, the only, it, it is not a question, but I don't know if it's a question. One of the, I'm trying to find my notes out on the computer, but my computer just died. Uh, the, you say you have enough data already for uh, kids coming in in the summer of that reteach part for the summer from is it taking account the loss that we have in the summer or is that just from the data we have right now from where to start full year's data okay so what we do at the end of the year um so all of our SBAC results are in they're embargoed until june 15th but they're in so we can look at them and we did a comparison between our star 360 across the year results in SBAC the hope was that it would be correlated very, and it is, which is great. So it means next year it will be a good predictor, because this is the first year we've used Star 360 in reading and in math. So it'll be a nice predictor in the fall and the winter for those students and how they can perform and, and how to provide interventions. Um, so what we've done most recently is just look at all of the data, look at, identify those students who have kind of been on the fence in the yellow, we call it, those who um, aren't significantly below, but those who are not meeting the standard, and came up with a plan for every one of those students. How will we address their needs, and what will that look like? Um, and we call it Quick Start in the fall, where the month of September is typically a month where we do beginning of year assessments and don't have we teach intervention blocks. Um, those students will have interventions starting with day one. And we've done that for the last couple of years, but I feel like our data is getting better yeah. each year so that mm-hmm. we can really identify the kids um, and those are the kids you tend to see have a summer slump yes so getting okay them so that's what I was wondering cooked in, kicked they, in they, like they would okay so we use the results based on the spring mm-hmm. when we give the assessments in the fall a lot of them mm-hmm. have regressed some yeah. um, but we still know that in the spring they need those interventions mm-hmm. We have some students, so if a student is on a plan, they can participate in summer services, so it doesn't need to just be a child on an IEP, which is great. We have kids who have who are on like ESD plans who need interventions who will participate in summer, yeah, which great. we hope will help with the summer slide. Okay. And the last question, there was one bullet about homework. You have buy-in from, <laughs> maybe that's not the right. So it's fascinating. Today we did the communication keeping module, um, which was around uh, getting on the same page with our communication home with families. Mm -hmm. And when I showed the school-wide results, I gave each teacher their own results. So the survey asked parents to identify their Mm -hmm. child's classroom teacher, and the teacher got just those results. But I showed school-wide data is very similar to homework. So we, we are not in alignment. And the goal is that we will be in alignment next year. So whether that's safe or homework, um, and typically, I can say, we've come up with, I shared the agreement Mm -hmm. that we came up with. Um, Mm -hmm. Basically, children in grades, kindergarten through second, get no homework. homework. Or their homework is to go home and play games with your family, read a book with your family, you know, that um, that level. Grades three through six, there's been, it's all over the place, Mm -hmm. depending on the teacher. And it has been, and we, we do have agreement to be more in alignment. Because yeah. this doesn't really, 
your agreement or your whatever it is. That does stick. not, I, no, that's, that's more of a philosophy. Right. Um, which it took a lot of time to get us to be on the same page. That's like what that. I was wondering. That, that's it. Um, but the specific agreements around, you know, say there's the 10 minute rule, right? No more than 10 minutes per grade. So if you're in fourth grade, you should never have more than 40 minutes mm -hmm. in a night. Um, so the, it's that type of an agreement. Um, another agreement in, so we had some classrooms who had large projects. Those of you mm -hmm. who have had children mm -hmm. have, have seen these projects. Um, we talked a lot about those. What's the purpose of those? Who really is doing that work? Mm -hmm. Which is, 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 is in that mm -hmm. statement, right? Yeah. It needs to be done independently. Independent, yeah. It should not be, you know, the entire family spending 40 hours because not every family can do that. And, and what happens is, you see in the product a huge discrepancy, mm -hmm. and that's not fair. Mm -hmm. Once um, you go to the Home Depot and buy all the materials to build their some medieval castle. Some spend castle. hundreds of dollars, mm -hmm. and some can't, you know, spend ten dollars. So it's yeah. really, we talked, it, it was a lengthy conversation that went across a number of sessions, specifically in grades four through six. Um, and then there's other things that we talked about, um, you know, finding that middle ground mm -hmm. because we have teachers who really believe strongly in those um, and compromising and maybe there's one take home kind of assignment uh, course <coughs> or something. Um, well, I think you're saying that questioning why, what is the purpose? Because if there's not an educational purpose that comes out of the diorama or the house or the whatever, <coughs> then questioning just because we've done it for 25 years <laughs> educationally may not be and just because parents are expecting oh when my kid gets to this grade we're going to do this right. so I think asking those why questions is really important of the staff yes. um, not yeah, not a, yeah. but the other thing is um, we have parents who that that is um, they were used to a traditional experience, they were used to that kind of homework, and they believe that their children should have that kind of homework. Mm -hmm. So there is a, there's definitely parents who believe that those castle projects are right. really what should be happening. Um, so it's working with that too. Yeah. I mean, there, there, are, like fun. <laughs> there are definitely, they are mom fun. loved awesome. building volcanoes. They're fun if you we have the time <laughs> and bandwidth right. and all of that to do that. They, it, I can see it being, a real challenge for a child to navigate that if they don't have the same supports, no, and, and then it ends up calling them out. Right, you're never, that's really hard. Right, it's it it makes it so that we provide opportunities for those things to happen at school, and yeah, not yeah, be like, homework, but it's still not the same. And have the materials because yeah. if I do toothpicks and that marshmallows, and you have bricks mm -hmm. and mortar. Right. Yeah, yeah, like like the bridge project that they used to do when they're building it at school. Everything is provided. Yeah, and, and even the so tribal awesome. boards, which sounds silly, yes. but mm -hmm. it makes not a difference. All families can do that. So right. those are the kind of details that we worked out. That um, you know, as unit teams, we had to come to an agreement that if you are asking a child to do something, you need to provide the the materials for them to do it. And there, I mean. You know, we talk about community engagement, but that's the kind of thing where the, there may be opportunity for that there. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe there are community members who would be happy to come in and help. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a very um, good point. And that we have could some be tapped. Mentors mm -hmm. Right. Who have no ties to the school other than being living in the community mm -hmm. or working in the community and spending time with some of our students. But it still, I think that it still does ask why. the question of What's why. What's the educational That's a really reason important behind question it? Yeah. To just keep asking. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're hoping to become, and what I told, I told the teachers, both around the homework and communication, because they're both touchy subjects, um, <laughs> is that I feel like as a staff, our culture is strong enough we can have these difficult conversations mm -hmm. without, and, it, and mm -hmm. I couldn't have said that you know, a few years ago. Um, and they were difficult conversations. They were not, you know, mm -hmm. nobody was, some mm -hmm. were very unhappy about having them and nobody was overly <coughs> thrilled about them. But yeah. I think in the end, and especially the one today, to them. Yeah. 
I showed them a pie graph of the results, and about 50% of parents are getting communicated with weekly, and about another 50% are getting communicated with maybe less than monthly. So that was eye-opening for staff who may be the ones communicating weekly and don't know, or the mm -hmm. ones who communicate once a month and have no idea others are sending things out so regularly, mm -hmm. and we can't have that. That's great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, fiscal report. So there's just a cover page. Um, that base, it's, it's pretty much the close down. Um, That's under action. You'll see oh. a couple of things. Oh, yeah. The board order. Oh, yeah. Is the board order going around? No, there oh. isn't one because oh. you just did one. Oh, right. Um, oh, that's right. We just had a meeting. We just had a couple weeks ago. <laughs> right, I know. So we're making it quick. <laughs> so we are, we uh, hit the target of the 4% um, with the close down, just finding some savings or where we didn't spend fully in um, like wood chips and some utilities and um, pre-K tuition, we closed down that and paid our last. Stephen, you had asked a question about why are all those checks right in the same exact amount. That's shown on here, our final payment. Um, let me see what else. And then there's a question around um, the technology. Um, so last year, for this year, we had set aside and reserved 26000 and what has been set aside right here for next is um, 11000 that bottom line. It's in the full board packet, I think. Yeah, yeah it was like, it's on page it was 25. 25 of the full board packet. It's like, I saw it. I don't know if there are any questions about the close down. I was a little confused when Lori explained it, and that was just me. So when we see, and this is just this numbers this way, the minor when she said that the uh, oh, she made it sound like we were moving a bunch of money for a lot for big capital stuff in ours, but she added our Callous school. And, yeah, she said some yeah, of the it was, schools. It was because had it looked like we had a big deficit, but it had to do with us with we're moving. setting money aside. We set money aside still for the early retirement that we did. Okay. There's still money set aside for that. Yeah, yeah it is. I think yeah. that's what Lori was talking about. You look okay. at that money that, yeah, there that the would. Signs at the yeah, yeah, we had the minus 154, but whatever. But she said it in the way of capital yeah. improvement. Yeah. The yeah. capital yeah. that we're going to have coming down. That's probably course. the way it was Nothing. for most yeah. of the schools. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We'll set yeah. some capital money aside pretty yeah. soon, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at this point there is an, yeah. it's the future retirement, mm -hmm. years two and three, the technology. Um, Thank you. And then I have a whole bunch of things for you to sign, but that mm -hmm. is coming next. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, having a brain cancer We're all today. done. We don't need action Five. on these reports, right? No. No. I no. think by signing, you just signed. Okay. Yeah. Can okay. I ask a question before we move into action stuff, mm -hmm. though? Um, so, Floor, you'll actually believe that I listen to you and hear what you say. Um, I don't want this to be a burden, but one of the things we're going to start looking across CSU is on helping board members um, understand trauma. Is that a good way to describe it? So, I'm wondering in a reasonable request um, if it would make sense for our so for our um, uh, our staff um, to make some recommendations to the school board on what they think it would be important for us to become informed about mm -hmm. around trauma mm -hmm. not and so a very casual mm -hmm. not hours of work um, you know, it could just be, hey, here's an email, board's interested on what they should know, does anyone have any, I don't care, but um, seemed like a good chance, we hardly ever ask the staff mm -hmm. to, you know, what do you think we need to know? Um, I know 
floor is particularly passionate about this, mm -hmm. but it's true. It's a topic that we're beginning to get interested on, you know, what should we know? And I think the staff might be able to provide some real good recommendations on, you know, spend some time on this or this is what we see or, um, you know, I, I, I experienced this and found it very useful mm -hmm. or whatever. That help I help us inform be awesome. our way forward. Mm -hmm. Just a question Thank for you. you. I know the first thing they're going to say um, is the re the, the movie. No. Watch the movie. <laughs> and Which we and learning up. about the ACEs scores and what that means. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I know that that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's other things, and I'll, I'll bring this to them and share with you. Um, but that. Was there, so you talked round and round about this last month. Was there? I know a there was no about, about was seeing the movie. To we there's might. a there's a commitment to address it. Um, it it well, I don't think it's going to get addressed in the yeah I thought retreat. there's so I can the problem see. is the reason I bring it up is it it might be something that. We want to be proactive on at a local board level, yes, I or say yes. we could just say, "Hey, East Montpelier has decided we want to move on this topic. This is what we're doing. This is when we're doing it. Yeah. Any other board or community members are welcome." Um, so and, and, I would suggest we have the film mm -hmm. Washington mm -hmm. Central. Mm -hmm. I would suggest you just set up a time and watch it mm -hmm. um, without a facilitator. I would watch it. Yeah, I think you, I think you can watch it multiple times and get yeah. more and different things out of it. It's a lot to take in, but it's really useful. And even if you watched it on your own, just so you're you have that background of what people are even talking about, um, that would be my recommendation. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's also a YouTube video from Dr. Harris, is that her she's, name? In she's, she's, she's in it. She's in it, and she has a YouTube that is like 20 minutes mm -hmm. or 25 minutes that is really, I can send the link if around. You it's even really. Google the film, you will find trailers on it, and you'll find, um, and I think as a place to, so that is as a as a entire staff of WCSU, that's where we started, and, and I think it's a good place mm -hmm. to start. I just don't want to jump to a solution without, mm -hmm. I know you're confident, and I'm sure that's what we'll hear. But okay. well, it's not often that I think of the staff. It's a funny <laughs> thing to say, but if from an advice yes. perspective. Mm -hmm. And, and, they and I, I think I, I just think yeah. it's a way to respect mm -hmm. them for their knowledge, mm -hmm. um, or at least their realization of where the problems are, even if they have no clue on what to do, right. um, and then hear from them to help us decide how we're going to. I'm Go happy forward. to ask them for specifics, and and the only other thing I would say to you that I know that they would agree with is your support financially. So we were in a situation in the fall where we had numerous students within of trauma backgrounds, severe trauma backgrounds. You saw the data of behavior at the beginning of the year, and um, and they came needing a lot of support and. You provided that, right? We had to add staff to support those children, and I think just your awareness of and knowing when, when I come to you, it's because staff have come to me enough, and I have seen that there is this need, and just having that kind of a understanding that those of you who are in the building see the need, but those of you who aren't, you know, can mm -hmm. appreciate that we don't go to that last resort until it's a last resort, and. That's something that is support. We need your support in that. Mm -hmm. um, but I will ask them for other specifics. But my just mm. off the top of my head, I think that resilience is a great starting place. However, is, you can do is it. Is WCSU doing the Alice? Stuff? So the the principals will be. The reason I brought that up, thinking of the boards, is in our district where I work. They had all the board members trained in the Alice, yeah. which is the lockdown stuff. So and I thought, I thought that was kind of odd, personally. But the teachers are all getting trained before school starts, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's the buzz. I mean, it's mm -hmm. the big thing and what mm -hmm. you're supposed to do for threats. But I thought it was interesting that they had the board, and I'm wondering if it's 
so that the board understands if there's financial ramifications, why, you know, mm -hmm. if they've been trained, they may understand right. everyone in our district jokes because the minute it's brought up, I bring up the bucket of rocks. But if we have to buy a bucket of rocks for every classroom, <laughs> um, if you've been through the training, you would understand that. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, maybe that's why they had the board members trained. Mm -hmm. um, but the first time we could get all the teachers trained are those in-service days before school starts when we have that capacity. Yeah. Um, so I don't. So you know. we're not anywhere near where Barry is with mm -hmm. that. But it's it's definitely been something we've been talking about. Bill is looking into mm -hmm. the training for principals. Yeah, we're start. training embedded trainers. Yeah. Yeah. And did you guys do the trauma first? Or? Yeah, we they did okay. a couple okay. of years okay. with okay. NFI. Is that yes. who they and are? That's who Dave Miller yeah. is through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's great. Thank you, Dave. So I think that was a good encapsulation of board goals, including but not mm -hmm. not exclusive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, uh, action agenda, approve the blanket authorization for check orders for FY18-19, that's page four on our board packets. It looks like we have something to sign here. as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you need to all sign everywhere, and then maybe there's a place where you oh, need to sign special. as the clerk in addition. Yeah. But you'll see on, on the packet. So do we need to do another motion or just sign? I think we just have to sign. Because we already did a motion as a hmm? full board. You right. Did. Yes. Yeah, we, we did, did we as a full board. board. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. You're right. Now yeah. we just sign them. Sign them. Yes, yeah, but I'm not. No, we didn't. Legal. One, you didn't. You didn't do all of them, but you did. We didn't approve a blanket authorization. Oh, we did just we did two we others. Applaud, we yeah. approve for the superintendent to sign documents. Okay. But we're approving them through our signatures here. The but we should do a motion anyway. Page four. It wouldn't hurt to do a the motion. motion. Better safe than sorry. Because um, oh, your we, we signed the board orders, but we still we approve them. maybe could yeah. approve all of these. As a slate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll make yeah. a slate. Wait. Yeah, that makes that, sense. That I, uh, um, you want the Can I just pack? say 5.4 is different. That yeah. is the yes. setting aside of the So board. make a slate for the three <laughs> awards. Yeah. That award blanket authorization for check orders, award revenue anticipation note, and award investment. Oh, geez, I don't think we can do them as a blanket. Mm -mm. Why? Because it's different. Oh, well, because there's, there's separate actions. Yeah, and, and there's, you know. This is oh, money. Okay. 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 I would make a motion that we approve <laughs> blanket <laughs> authorization for check orders for FY 1819. I'll second it. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 That's the one we have to sign, right? Or mm -hmm. the revenue yeah. anticipation note on page five. There's Second. Three. I'll make a motion. <laughs> oh, yeah, there are, aren't there? Yeah. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> or no. Well, Any discussion of the revenue anticipation note? Yeah, revenue anticipation All of those in favor, board. please say aye. 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 Award the investment bid. I'll make a motion. So that's the second <laughs> half motion, of that yeah. page. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I mean, what, what did, what did we just bid. what did we just approve? <laughs> the revenue, revenue anticipation, anticipation note. note. This is the first. Well, so we have to award it to somebody. Uh, to community bank. Community national community bank. Yeah, uh, it's right there. Yeah. So if we approved it. So it would be a motion to approve the revenue anticipation the revenue yeah, anticipation right. note right. bid to community yeah. bank NA. Okay, that is correct. <laughs> NA. NA. Yeah. Because oh, it's gotten so confusing. Not authorized? Because <laughs> the other not one is or? Community National, National Bank. Oh. Yeah. There's two in Barrie. Oh. And it's really confusing now. <laughs> okay. So then there's the... Okay. So we've gotten through the revenue anticipation note and we are now on to the award the investment bid. And I made the motion, so I now bank. say the investment bid to Community Bank N.A. Yeah. And Darcy, and Darcy seconded yes. that one. 
Any discussion of that one? All of those in favor, please say aye. 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 And finally, approve reserving $11,951 for technology. I'm confused, but even one more. There's four things to sign. One of them is mine. Clerk one is mine. No, no, you're on. It's on. You're it's part different. of that one. So oh. there's. This is the. This That's is the a, board authorization. Board authorization. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here's the Community National Bank tax revenue anticipation note. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is this just another? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Continued on and you can sign it in. Mm -hmm. So that's where Lindy has to sign this quarter. And then this is, see, revenue, see, oh, this is where I'm confused. Might all be. This is, looks like the tax same thing. Tax revenue anticipation borrowing, no, this, it, right. it's an extension of the same thing, but it's not the same language. Okay, so. So I don't see it. Then where's the award of bid? Uh, the investment, investment bid? bid? Uh, Is that the one page? No. It might be one page because both bids are being given to the same bank. Community bank. So you said there's an extra one. Says it always oh. says a header of tax revenue anticipation borrowing. So that's the tax anticipation. Right. This one but is that's the what, that's revenue. What they, all, they all say. This is <laughs> all borrowing. That goes well, that. the anticipation has bottom on it. <laughs> is one of them the art? Yeah, this is all the same thing. It's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they just need a whole bunch of copies. No, it's, no, it's just it's the same, in the same three document. Places yeah. that we have to sign in yeah. the same oh, document. It's banks okay. yeah. But I didn't see well, one that's for easy. the yeah. Yeah. sign. I just didn't see one for that. Investment I'll, 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 account. while you're doing yeah, that, I'll approve the, I'll move the, oh, I don't think we'll 11,000 11, dollars in technology here, bid. That it's something that we have to sign. I wonder if we okay. just have yeah, to yeah, just have do it. Somebody else is going to see this yeah. one says has to be signed. This one doesn't. Okay. Right here it says needs to be yeah. signed. This one we just have to pass. First, okay, cool. What is this one? Okay. Nothing there. I'm just going to go with. Just I'm just going to pass it down. Okay, so we do also have a motion on the floor. Is that the reserving the transfer? Uh, sorry, reserving $11,951 for technology. I'll second it. And I'm sorry, who made that motion? Did you make I did. I was did. Thank you. <laughs> she was trying to sort through our documents and get us okay. organized. Six. And then I just confused you. <laughs> it's, easy, it's easy to do. Um, reserving the 11,951, is that a transfer out of somewhere to somewhere? Or yeah. is that what is the story? from fund balance? OK. Can uh, someone, so fund balance versus capital wallet. Like. So there's an, so that it's a different line and basically the way Fair I question. think about it, and it's probably, it's a very layman's way of thinking about it, but fund balance is basically the savings mm -hmm. okay. account, right? Like it's what isn't spent. Okay. Right. Capital is untouchable and it's only for capital and has to be approved by the board. Yeah. Although we don't touch fund balance either without coming to, but that's the line <coughs> that you always see on the bottom okay. of the cover page. And then technology, fund balance is its own line. So we have, we didn't used to have a line for technology. We we would spend, now we're trying to foresee ahead just and have a, a, a okay. balance just for, set aside for yep. your market gotcha. for technology. Perfect, thank you. Because we know that technology tends to be fairly cyclical. Right. So it's good to set some money aside so that when the big bill comes in four years, we're not paying we don't have bill. to find all of the money right. for the big bill. Mm -hmm. So last year we set aside twenty six six ninety six. And this year, and and I don't have. Oh, I can find it for you. And mm -hmm. um, we put we budgeted some set aside as well. Mm -hmm. um, that was it. Um, it's done at the bottom. So next year you're going to see all year that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. the okay. But there's a, a substantial balance in that mm -hmm. now. No, that's okay. Yeah. It doesn't kidding. mean 11,900 will be spent next year. It's just, it's just it's prep. Prep aside. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. 
Okay, I have a motion. And, oh, wait, one, more, one more question, sorry. And so why wouldn't we just round that up to 12,000 versus just the 1,150? Like, Where did so that you number come left. from? Yeah. Um, so Was it a percentage? A, it's like a capital plan, but it's a tech plan. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's, it's came from that. Yeah, okay. But it's I just... It's on need. Right. Um, I'm just looking for a June 6 report. It just seems like an odd number, 11,951 instead of 12,000. Mm, it's probably a percentage <coughs> of something. It was probably a percentage or an, That's what a, I was like, yeah. an anticipated assessment. Mm -hmm. Or it may have been the exact number that it took to get down to a 4% fund balance. Yes, that is true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it could be. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> that has been the goal. Of because we do that. Mm -hmm. You know, we get these oddly specific numbers right. that are. And we were, we were below 4% most of the year because of our increase in staffing needs. Mm -hmm. And that has been my goal all year is to. And you're back at yeah. 4%. 4%. Because I'm, uh, and ideally, it's a cross section of those two needs. <laughs> but in discussion on transferring funds, are we not going to transfer any funds to so capital? In August. Oh, okay. Yeah. This, is, yes. this is the projected close yes. down. <coughs> yeah, got so it. After July 1st, mm -hmm. we'll have those numbers. Because we're in a good place, capital. I want to keep making yeah, it yeah. good. Just yeah. know that yeah. I used money from the, from the local budget, wood chip money, um, to purchase our furniture for next, next year. year. We have a, a lot of chairs we purchased. We, we have not purchased any chairs since way before construction. Um, so similar to past years, when there is a, a lot of money left in the line, wood chips this year, um, rather than coming to you for capital, it's used out of the operating budget okay. mm -hmm. so that we don't need to touch well, capital. Rather than burning them, you built with them this year. That's all. <laughs> yes. Right? yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it was also for And then if we get real tight, you can burn the old chairs. <laughs> Well, it was a special Throw them in education. The and we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Smash them up and we'll burn those for one winter. We're running awesome. out of money. Uh, anywho. Yeah, thanks, Ruben. You um, should just shut me up. <laughs> so I have a motion and a second to approve reserving $11,951 for technology. Is there any further discussion? All of those in favor, please signify your approval by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Thank you. We don't have a board order. Future agenda items, we have talked about Act 46. Mm -hmm. um, um, and input from the staff on Trump. Mm -hmm. I wasn't paying terribly close attention. I know there's going to be another meeting in June. How is that going to be scheduled? He's doing a doodle poll. Doodle poll. Okay. Yeah. And he gave some dates, like between June 19th and I think it's probably going to be June 18 when the executive committee is that because the executive committee is already happening. So it would be mm -hmm. nice to not. Yeah. Yeah. There's an executive meeting on the 18th. That's, 18. That's, the eighth That's not the graduation. graduation. Oh, eighth grade graduation. Uh -huh. June 19th and 28th were dates he was between the that. 19th is also uh, grade sixth graduation. grade graduation. So. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and I would, I would hope that. Other than a few administrators for this full you board meeting, you, don't have to be you wouldn't have to be there. No, because it's just Act 46. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's good to hear, though. But yeah. Welcome to come if you've got nothing better to do. <laughs> so don't have it on the 19th. Take my place. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I, I can't come on the 19th yeah. either because it's six pictures. <laughs> Are there other end of the year, like Evening. retirements and things that are going on? Not not evening between the 19th and the... I just the meant in general. I mean, you have people leaving. Yes. So we will have a celebration on the 20th. Patty. Yes, for our retirees and um, those who are on. Yes. You have one tomorrow. Yes, we do. It's and been so cute to hear. And yeah. then we have one, yes. Tomorrow's the staff, not the community. Next week is the community for... Our principal's been there for 45 years. Patty's husband. Patty's husband. Oh my gosh. So there's a lot going on there. They should almost be celebrated together how many kids they have affected in their life. Mm -hmm. They're so mm -hmm. cute. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, 8.0 board communication. I don't think we have anything, which brings us to, I think, our favorite item, which is adjournment. But I just wanted to do what Matt did and oh just thank you. you. She had a birthday mm -hmm. this week, too. So mm -hmm. just thank you for all you do. We appreciate Indeed. it. And we know that you operate at 198% <laughs> <laughs> without thank food you. sometimes. And with, yeah, so thank you. Thank you. Well, we all day. appreciate it. Thank you. It is my Agreed. To we know it's in good hands, the school. I know. Absolutely. I, I know. It's sort of. Unless she, until she lets the phones go down. Yeah, <laughs> the phones go down. Uh, yeah I'm sure oh, yeah. she so took the he, phones down. Uh, so he go, the phone guy came in. We don't need to record this, but. So let's adjourn. Let's adjourn. Yeah, we're adjourned. We're adjourned. 8.20 p.m. Mm -hmm.